What's up everyone, we've got an image sent in by Simon here, so we're going to be trying to recreate one of his edits with this image right here, trying to recreate that dreamy, creamy look he gets to his images. So if you guys also like his content, I'll be putting his links down in the description, so you can go give him a follow down there. And yeah, let's get into Lightroom, see if we can create something awesome like this. So here's the unedited raw file and his edited image from his Instagram. The first thing I want to do down here, Able Profile Corrections, I'll add a vignette straight away and chuck up some exposure. Drop some highlights. some whites and we obviously need to drop the blacks a bit more and they'll help get a bit more contrast and it's quite easy to see that in some areas were too bright and some areas were too dark so we're obviously going to need to use filters to bring out some areas of this from the image so such as up here there's a bit of an emphasis and down here where the subject is and this image has really great composition so we've got lots of leading lines coming down to our subject so we're going to have to do some brushing and filters to bring out and accentuate some of this so it's kind of hard to know exactly what to do with these when we have so many filters and brushes going on top of our image So I'm going to add in quite a bit of contrast with the tone curves and then add a fade in with this one here. Okay, so S-curve through the colors and then a strong fade in this one here. And as you can see, it's a bit dark up the top here. So if you look over here, you can see it's much brighter through here and all up here. So I want to bring out the top half of the image with a nice big filter. And then I want to do things like a bit of exposure. I'll drop the contrast. So I want to put in a bit of a hazy look. Dropping the contrast will help that. Highlights I'm going to bring down. whites I might just give a wee punch and as you can see there's a lot of haziness to this image so I'm gonna really drop the clarity gives that nice soft like the sun's softly shining through there real nice glow And I'm going to touch it up with a bit of warmth. And I think that's looking pretty good for that. Lift the blacks a bit. And that looks good. And 
what I want to do is just add a bit more of a vignette. So you can see it's a bit darker down the bottom here, along the edges and up in the corners. So I'm going to grab a big radial filter. And I want to affect the outside of the circle. So turn down, turn, tick the inverted box, bring down the feathering to about 50. Going to drop the shadows. Drop the blacks a little. I might just keep a touch of clarity still in there. So, so we still keep plenty of sharpness and detail and punch. But we have slightly darkened the edges and acts as a bit of a net so it just helps guide your eye into the center of the image. Now also I just want to add a bit more of a darkening down the bottom here to draw our eye up into the center as it's still a bit darker over in this one. I'm going to drop the shadows. Just maybe keep a few highlights in there. So moving on, I want to do a little bit of split toning. So we've got quite a warm look. So I'm going to add warmth into the highlights. And the opposite of warmth is a cool blue. So that's always a good idea to complement the warm highlights. And since we're, that's pretty much what you're doing with warm tones in the highlights and cool tones in the shadows, is you're sort of replicating uh, a sunset color. And I think what helps with that is to increase the amount of highlights moving into the shadows. So that's highlights to the entire image. That's blues to the entire image and I want to give a favor to those highlights and I think that looks much better so we're gonna move on to colors I think now so coming down quickly adjust some of these so warming up a lot of colors and give it a bit of a teal push tiny bit of green in the shadows and now now I just want to go through and correct all of these get them as close as I can So, oranges. Not looking too bad. Yellows. Quite warm, I think. So 
so in the greens we have a lot of greens but we also have a lot of yellows if we shift our greens this way we sort of lose all the greens so i think moving the these greens this way we keep a lot of natural looking green colors and then keeping the yellows towards the oranges you get a lot of those oranges in there but you still keep a good amount of natural looking greens hopefully that made sense uh, aquas Teals in there. Saturation, we're going to have to bring some of these down quite a bit. Yellows, oranges down a bit. Bring those blues down a bit. all looks pretty good might want to just I think we look a little deeper over in this image especially in the yellow so along this area here I'll just bring them down a bit These greens can look quite a bit deeper as well. So luminance will help that. Uh, not too much going on in the blues. And what happens in some of these images, they look a bit soft in Lightroom sometimes. But if you just give them another click, they will sort of just, they'll regain their sharpness and change position just a little. Not sure why it does it, but be aware of it if your image looks a bit soft. So I think that looks a little better. Now sharpening, uh, I'm going to bring it down. We've got a really nice creamy looking image. We don't want it looking digital at all. And uh, maybe a tiny bit of grain. And we're looking pretty good. Yeah. Um, a bit more creaminess to the image. So real key to that is dropping the clarity a little might add a touch of vibrance take down the saturation And one other thing that you've probably noticed, it's kind of obvious, is that in our image, our water is not blue. So if you come down, you can see that it is registered as an orange in camera. So I'll show you how to do that in Photoshop. So if you come up here to help, 
type in Photoshop. Edit in Adobe Photoshop. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is duplicate a background. Now with this image, we want to zoom in and we want to grab this tool here. And what it's gonna do is select all the water. And then if you hold Alt, you can brush away the areas you don't want selected. And once you're happy with your selection, double click, layer via copy, and you have your layer you just cut out appear over here. So next thing, you wanna click on hue saturation, double click here, create clipping mask. Now a little arrow pops up, and that means whatever we do here, it's only gonna affect the layer below it. And that's the layer we just cut out, the water. So now we can change the colors, and it's only going to affect the bit we just selected. Pick a good blue, desaturate it. Now say we didn't quite select it properly, we want we want a bit more of this bit removed. It looks a bit more natural brush over it with the eraser tool here and you can make it blend in much better then once you're happy with that you're done you can save this you can go up to here file save and that's going to go straight into Lightroom so when we go back to Lightroom it'll be right there and here's the image right here when you come straight back into Lightroom the image appears right here so yeah that's about it guys i'm pretty happy with that one if you guys like this one make sure you leave a comment down below and comment down below who you guys want to see that way i can reach out to them on instagram ask them to send in a photo and do a tutorial on them and yeah if you're liking these tutorials like the presets and yeah make sure you go give him a follow down in the description and i'll be catching you guys in the next one